welcome to the first of Group 1's Jules Brody Lecture Series. This evening, we are honoured to have Justice Malcolm Wallace talk to us, not about Endomeni and life thereafter, but rather about Curlin and life beyond. We are grateful that he has accepted our invitation to speak to us this evening, notwithstanding his rather busy schedule as a retired Justice of the Supreme Court. Jules had a unique gift. He found joy in being an activist, a lawyer, a judge. He was fiercely loyal to South Africa, and he had a burning passion for justice. It's a tremendous privilege for me to have been asked to present this lecture honouring his role in establishing Group 1 and in the wider pursuit of justice in South Africa. But it's also, if you don't mind my saying so, a further privilege that Selma, you have graced us with your presence tonight. Uh, you and Jules shared a vision of a different South Africa where human dignity was recognised and it was valued his reputation went before him. It was not only a reputation for his skills as an advocate, but for, and I quote, his integrity, his commitment to the bar as an institution, his values, rooted in his respect for the dignity of persons, and his public commitment to the struggle for a better life for all.